<laughs> I can see the soju in the frame, but that's okay. <laughs> Introduce yourself. My name is Shazana. I am a recent law graduate from the University of Warwick. She she got that big brain. Yeah, that that yeah, very big, big brain. brain. <laughs> no, I'm here to give some input on university and pursuing a law degree in the UK. Yeah. yeah, and since Nana didn't say it, I will. Nana is a first class grad from University of Warwick. <laughs> Did you follow a specific study method? I think that when you go to law school, you, because you have three years, your first year is always going to be a bit jumbled up. You, mm -hmm. It's very mm -hmm. different from whether you did your A-levels before or you did um, pre-university. It's very different from that. You suddenly get a lot of information and not much guidance on what to do with it. Okay, on that note, right? what pre-university program did you do? So I did my A-levels. I did my A-levels in a boarding school and I did it for 24 months. I took four subjects for my AS, which is chemistry, biology, economics, and math. And no, no, economics and history. And then for my A2, I dropped history, so I ended up with my A levels of chemistry, biology, and economics. So now you're doing a law degree. I mean, you did, you graduated. How was yes, the transition yeah. from A levels to degree? It was, I personally, I don't think everyone feels this way, but I felt like it was a huge step. I used to think from my A levels that I was so clever. And then I went to university and the highest I could get was a 59. Hey, that's high in uni. 59. And that's the, that was the highest. And I remember thinking, what am I doing wrong? Because I would absorb the material. I thought I got it right. And then it was just it was just medio mediocre, mediocre, mediocre. Ma'am, I remember when I thought like 70 was low. And then mm -hmm. I go and do my mm -hmm. degree in law. And, and you get a 60 and you're like, yes, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay, on that note, Kat, I think people would want to know like, what are your tips or your study routine? In my first and second year, really what I tried to do was I felt like textbook reading. A lot of my friends, I had friends who would spend most of their time, they would do their lectures and then they would go home and read the textbook and use the notes in their textbook to supplement their lecture notes. And I just, I couldn't hack that because I thought that it took too much time and then I would spend like what, five days on one tiny topic and then I would be stressing out for the exams. So what I did in the end was, which I felt really, really worked for me, I took notes in every single lecture, but it was all online. So what happens when it's online is you can reduce the speed. I took every single notes that the lecturer would say. And then from there, I would read it, see what I didn't understand. And if I didn't understand something, then I would look at textbooks. That's when I would then go to my textbooks and be like, do I have this down? Do I understand this part? Because textbooks, they're better for understanding compared to notes. If you try to absorb your textbook into notes, you... I'm sorry, unless you're ready to spend 24 hours in a day, it's not possible. So what I did was I would supplement the understanding. And then from there, I would start looking at faster questions. But how I look at past your questions, here's a little cheat tip for you. I would get those books that have past your questions and answers. I think you can get it on online stores. They're called question and answer books where they have your problem questions, they have your essay questions, and they have model answers to it. So they have people actually writing out these answers because you knowing the answer is very different from you knowing how to write the answer. Law school is not just about knowing the answers. That's easy game. It's whether you can argue your answers well and make it sound clever. So what I did was I would just read these questions and answers on these topics, read it, read it, read it, see what they did well. And that's how I went about it. When I went to my exam, law school questions are repetitive. You know, the questions are repetitive. So when you see a question that you kind of know, you see how did they argue it in their answers. You try and mirror it. And yeah, that's, that, that's how I studied. Notes, so first notes. Second, read your textbook if you don't understand because it's all about your understanding. And third, learn how to write. You need to read these questions and answers. You need to know how to write well. The life hack, guys. Get a Q&A book. Get a Q&A book. Honestly, get a Q&A book. <laughs> it's now. so... It's the, the, the thing that changed my entire university. Open video. another tab online. Don't go click off the video. That's not good. <laughs> Open another tab. Search up a Q&A book and then mm -hmm. first class. Let's go. No, I'm joking. I'm not gonna... <laughs> no, but for real, the question and answers are so helpful. They helped me. Oopsie! <laughs> We're back! <laughs> they helped a lot. I think they honestly helped me with all the modules that I did where I got first. In my final year, this is a fun fact. In my final year, I did seven modules. I got six first and one to one. And this was all questions and answers. I just... 
I lived question and answer books. It works. Okay, and also, right, I think Nana might be selling her notes. So if she is, I will include a link. If not, I will include her Instagram and then y'all can DM her. My notes are very complete. I put in a lot of effort. By them. By them, guys. <laughs> so do you prefer like studying alone or you like to study in groups? I personally prefer studying alone. But you guys need to remember that I was also uh, the batch of COVID mm -hmm. where studying in groups wasn't the best method. But I can see the benefits of studying in groups. I can see the benefits of looking at a problem question, writing it on the board, talking it through. Law is a lot of talking. But I think if you choose to study in the group, you need to remember that whilst all this talking and arguing and all this stuff, it helps supplement your information, you are not going to get that great if you can't then um, express it onto a piece of paper because that's what matters. So even if you have all the brilliant ideas, you can counteract your friends, you have all the A, B, C, D answers, if you can't write it well, that's not going to help you. You need to portray it well, you need to portray it clearly, you need to be structured or you won't get that good results. Okay, you're gonna sidetrack a bit but also on topic, on structure, right? Yeah. Like, how did you structure your time? Any tips on time management? To be honest, I wasn't the most involved in extracurriculars. I did some sports here and there but I was, I did my own thing. But I'm more, I think it depends what kind of person you are. But in my third year, what really worked for me is staying consistent. Usually, I study in the last two months of exams. That works but what happens is you're trying to accumulate a year's worth of notes into two months and then most of your time is spent taking down the notes so in my third year i just i attended every single class because they were online i made quite complete notes for those classes and what happened was two months before my exams when i decided to start my revision i had my notes maybe not the most complete of notes but i had the notes anyways and then that's when i would look through my notes study it and then look through any chapters that i missed at the textbook notes but that makes your work a lot less because you already have your notes, you've attended class, you've understood. So I would say, don't try and do everything at the last minute. Try and stay consistent, but that doesn't mean studying every day throughout like every month in uni. When I say stay consistent, is attend your classes, take your notes, understand your topics. You don't need to memorize anything, keep that for the last two months of exams. But you need to have your base, because without your base, you're screwed.